You ready to behave yourself? Because you're not going to get any dinner unless you do. Please let me go. You're proper going down for this now. Huh. No, please, I get it, OK. OK. One more gobby remark. You can't just bung somebody in a boot like this, like, forever. It's not right. My mum will be going spare. What's this? Hummus and coriander. Take it and do one. And you leave my family alone, all right? Thing is, I need 200 quid. What? Why? I owe some lads. Well, that's not my problem. That's me dead, then. You really need to find a new pastime, because you're way out of your depth. That's what my mum says. Hundred quid, that's all you're getting. Yeah, but... Do you want it or not? And me and Liv never see you again, all right? Like I'm ever coming back here again. Wait, I thought I told you to leave him alone. I did, he just turned up. So that's where you've been? You've been torturing some weedy little kid? No, I just scared him a bit. Oh, come on, Aaron, you've beaten up enough people in your time. Yeah, but I don't go and pick on little muppets like him, do I? I was protecting us, you, me and Liv. Yeah, but mainly yourself. Do you want me to go to prison? I was never going to hurt him. He wound me up, so I wanted to make sure he got the message. I swear, I just... I chucked him in the back of my car, I drove around for a bit, and then I parked in the lay-by and got some kip. The important thing is he's not going to bother us anymore. No, Robert, the important thing is I thought you'd changed. And I have. No, you haven't. You just do what you want, when you want, never mind anyone else. Same as always. 